Hi everyone. I decided to turn the lights off because it's, why not, right? Okay, so today I'm gonna drink the keto tea because I need a boost and my skinny brew isn't here yet. So I need to work on that today. Anywho, in the midst of all of that, I want to um, talk about, so, you know, I've been working nonstop. I can't tell you how nonstop I've been working. This is so hard to open. Oh, here it goes. Um, and, you know, that's not where it goes. Maybe I do need to turn the light on. Anyway, I've been working such nonstop. I didn't even go to bed till like four o'clock in the morning um, because of how much I've been working. It's just crazy. So um, I wanted to um, talk with you about. So last night, I I I actually listened to Tony Braxton's new CD. It's to spell my name. I'm sorry, I didn't listen to the single, spell my name beforehand. And, um, okay, I like the album, so let me start there. Few things. Number one, if you're going to have Missy Elliott on your album, I just want you to realize that she is going to show up and she is going to show out. She does put the extra stuff that you definitely want on your song in order for it to be... A bona fide hit so I get that however Tony 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 let me explain to you I am a Tony fan I have every single Tony Braxton album I have listened to all of them I uh, even the one that I don't even see where she even um, Every time I use this, like, this father is so great. Um, my gosh, it's so great. Uh, I need to send her, I send her, like, a thank you note every single time. I need, I give her shout outs every single video. Anyway, okay, okay, let me focus, like, staying focused. Um, I am a Tony Braxton chick. I have been a Tony Braxton chick. Um, since she came out, my bad, I didn't know that there was the Braxton sisters or Braxton, whatever, and that, and then she came out from that. My bad. But ever since her singles, Unbreak My Heart, and, uh, you know, even some of those where I was just like, this is not a good look for you, I still liked it. I still rocked with it. Um, I think her album some years back I I it didn't get as much notoriety but I still loved it and it's to me is one of her best albums however one of my least favorite songs that she has made is Bonnie and Clyde okay so back in I would say what 2007 she 2000 yeah 2007 she was supposed to do 2006 2007 I think it's 2007 she was supposed to do a song with with Jay-Z Bonnie and Clyde now here's the problem I have with with this everybody knew that he was dating Beyonce what I did not understand is why she would go to Jay-Z with Bonnie and Clyde like he was taking the realm of Beyonce's career at the time and um and so and they were really beginning to infuse their lives together before they end up getting married this is right before they got married so why would you take and then and you know her first singles you know her first single um he was right behind it you know her first single single cd and then you know they were doing songs feature songs occasionally and releases and stuff like that so i don't understand why she thought that 
Jay-Z was someone to do a Bonnie and Clyde album song with because he was never going at that time he the only person who was going to be his Bonnie to his Clyde was going to be Beyonce so in hindsight she probably should have went to some other rapper anywho what did, what did Jay-Z do? And I'm going to admit, and I'm a Jay-Z fan. I am here for Jay-Z. I'm a Beyonce fan. Jay-Z took that song to Beyonce and was like, we going to do this song. So Toni Braxton sued. I don't know what happened with the lawsuit. But what she did do is she released the song on her album, Bonnie and Clyde, with nobody. Um, and then and then Jay-Z and Beyonce released Bonnie and Clyde together, right? Not only did they do that, but then they had this whole video. Then they did this whole, they even did a kind of play on that when it, when it came to their first joint tour together. Like, so I get where, you know, the industry, you know, definitely a way to be, Mad petty, whatever. Okay. So, why am I giving this overview? Let me explain why. So, her album has a song called Do It. Now, if you listen to the song, it sounds like, hmm, what does it sound like? Another song called, let me think of the words, Do It. Same title, same everything, and it's Chloe and Hallie's song do it. There's a whole TikTok thing. It's been one of their biggest songs, but you make the decision that came out in 2020 and you make the decision to have a whole nother song named Do It in the same year of this Lord and Savior of 2020 and you put Missy on the song. Now here's the funny thing about it is that I like both songs absolutely equally. I don't know if I like one more than the other. Um, but to me, it's like, you're trolling. <laughs> like, I mean, it's like, this is the ultimate petty. You not only take the same song that you know Beyonce has been behind, Chloe and Hallie, we all know that this is a given, and you know you can't take a Beyonce song without the beehive coming after you. So what you do, you do Chloe and Hallie. And what is Chloe and Hallie going to do? Nothing, because they're kids. Well, I know that they're adults, but in my head, they're kids. And on top of that, uh, they're probably going to be like, oh, that is so cool. Tony Braxton, a legend, took our song and, you know, did whatever, whatever. I mean, come on. This is the ultimate payback. This is like ultimate petty 101. Petty 101. And you know who else is behind it? Babyface. Petty to the nth power. Anyway, even saying all that, I still like the song and I still like the album. So, you know, teach them. Go listen to it. I think that you would enjoy it. Um, but I got questions, Tony. I got questions. Miss Ma'am, are you getting married? Are you broke up? Did you break up? I'm not saying you it's not my business, but I mean, this album sounds like this is a breakup. Uh I'm just saying. Chai T, get you some. Elizabeth Walker. Dot itworks. Dot com. Get you some. Uh, anyway, go listen to it. Check it out. I got two other things to talk about. Um, Save the day. Mariah Carey released a song called Save the Day. And it said featuring Lauren Hill. And I was like, oh, hold the phone, drop the phone, whatever. We got a Lauren Hill song. Because, you know, Lauren Hill actually did a song on uh, Queen and Sugar's album. Uh, which, let me tell you, I love Queen and Sugar. I don't know what is up with people who do not like Queen and Sugar. Uh, Queen Sugar, I don't get it. I don't get it, but whatever. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. I can't help you. I like the movie, and it's now on HBO. 
but oh wait am i no wait it's not queen sugar that's the wrong name of the movie oh my gosh um i know that sounded wrong it's uh let me go back let me go back it's on it's on hbo right now hold on hold on i want to get the name right because i don't want queen and slim she did a, a song on Queen and Slim. I love the soundtrack. The soundtrack is ridiculous and it is not talked about enough. It is a black through and through film. I love Queen and Slim. I love the movie. I love the premise of it. To me, it makes no sense in my head, but I understand where they were going with it because it makes no sense. I would, this is not something I would do. This is not rational sense. So I get where people are like, this takes me off the story because it doesn't make sense. And that is the point that she's trying to make. And that is what I love about it. Because if these were white folks, people would be like, I see some white folks doing it, right? And this is in the light of the fact that, you know, this 17 year old boy, who was walking around with a um, a, a, an automatic weapon and shot two people and the cops were just like, allowed him to get in his car and go home. I get all that. Like, and so that's the, that's, and Queen and Slim is like, okay, black folks can't live in that world. But the whole point of the movie is to say, Black folks can live in this world. What happens if black folks do live in this world? You know, what does that look like? I love the movie. I love, love, love the movie. And the soundtrack is awesome. I have gotten off topic. Let's get back to Save the Day. Mariah Carey. So when I saw Mariah Carey and Lauren Hill, let me listen to this. I listened to it. Mariah, Mariah. You bamboozled me. You tricked me. You got me heated and excited and rejuvenated that I was going to hear my Lauren Hill. Because she don't release a song, you know, maybe once every 10, 15, 20 years. And then she comes out with something and then she goes away. And she's still living off that same one album of Miseducation of Lauren Hill. You tricked me. And all you did was... You use you sampled her, and then you had the nerve to call her featured when you sampled her and you used her chorus off of one of her songs on Miseducation of Lauren Hill. And I was like, it's one of my favorite songs, and I'm not going to sing it because I don't want anybody to tag me and take my video down. So that's that i like the song though i think it's kind of cool but on the flip note i do still like the song right i think the song is kind of cool i think it's a really cool notion that you're really writing a song for today and i think it's um i think it's nice because i mean your ex-husband is all up in the mix with the time period and with the march and is expressing his you on black lives matter and this is you and i think that in, you know i'm up to be honest mariah you really don't talk about issues of the day so it's kind of refreshing to see that you are living up for the moment like kudos to you right lost one jasmine sullivan just came out last night and boy oh boy let me tell you about my jasmine sullivan don't get in my mentions <laughs> And get all upset about what I say coming up. I love me some of Mary J. Blige. And I'm going to let you know right now. When Mary J. is unhappy and is in pain, she writes some of her best music. Not to say Happy Mary isn't good. Happy Mary's cool. Happy Mary's cool. You know, so I, I will rock with her still. But when Mary is in pain and anguish and crying from her soul... Her songs be hidden. Now, Jasmine Sullivan, I think you are very similar to a, a Mary J. Blige. And I think that you are a Mary J. Chick in the sense that you are making these songs 
and you are making them out of your pain and your hurt and your anguish and I am here for it. Lost Ones is hit. If you are petty, petty, petty and coming out of a relationship or if you have an ex that you don't give two potatoes about, this is your jam. This is a great, I mean, you know, her, one of her best songs is her first single, which is Bust the Windows. That is my jam. I would never bust the windows because I'm not paying for your windows when you try to get me to pay for your windows. But Lost One is the epitome of petty where it's like, yeah, I don't want you to fall in love with anyone. But, you know, you know, look, I don't want to see you happy. I don't want to see you. So I don't want to see you happy on top of I don't want to see you. So, I mean, you know, let's just put that, let's just put that, put it a spade a spade. Do I have to see you? No. Do I want to see you in my mentions happy? No, don't tag me. And don't follow me because I ain't following you back. And this is the tone of Lost One. She doesn't say all that in the, in the song, but she says some of it. And, um, and that's the tone. And I'm going to tell you right now, can the album drop? And if the album is like your single, I like to hear it. I want to hear it. I don't want no happy music. And I know I'm. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm an un that I'm unhappy. I'm just particularly catered towards the. You know, I think that her unhappy music is much better than her happy music. That's all I'm saying. So on that note, um, you know, something to look forward to, something to listen to. Um, I do like Spell My Name, the single. Um, I think it's kind of cool. But, you know, it sounds like Drake on Tony's album. And I'm just like, well, I don't I don't like sound alikes. If you're not going to get Drake, just go for a different sound. Like, I just, I, I mean, I don't, I don't like... I don't like copying other people's sound. Like that's just not my thing. I think, you know, Tony is so unique, so so in her own lane that she doesn't need to she doesn't need to do she doesn't even need to be this petty. But it's a good album. And um go check it out. <sighs> you know, I gotta get on my Kamala Harris stuff and I will do that on my next video tomorrow since you know I'm trying to I can't I can't slow down I need to um, um, I can't slow down I, I have uh, due dates September 1st I have you know a lot of things I have a lot of fires cooking and um, so you know I can slow down maybe mid September <laughs> um, when when things kind of slow down a little bit for me. But on that note, I will uh, keep you updated, right? I know that I need to do some triumphs. And have a great afternoon, and I will see you on the flip side.